Hey, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use Postman to test out some Eloqua APIs. As you guys might already know, you could access the Oracle Eloqua API documents at this link. I'll put this also in the comment section below. But as you can see, if we explore this documentation of the Eloqua API, we can click on the application here. Uh, we'll do version 1.0. And let's just take a look at things we could do. For example, under contacts, we could uh, retrieve a list of contacts. We can create a contact. We can delete a contact all with this API. Uh, if we look at custom objects, we can create a custom object, retrieve a list of custom objects. As you can see, there's a lot we could do with the API. But how do we do that? So Postman is a great tool to do this with. To go to Postman, we're just going to simply go to postman.com. And if you don't already have this installed on your computer, just simply click the appropriate download link here and download the program and then install it. Okay, once you installed Postman and open up the application on your computer, it's going to look something like this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create what's called a workspace. So go up to workspaces and we're going to click on the button that says create workspace. We're going to just name this. We'll just name it Elo Eloqua Test. Uh, we can give it a summary if we'd like. Uh, not needed, though. The visibility, since I don't plan to share this with anybody else, I'm just going to click Personal. And then we're going to go ahead and create the workspace. OK, now that our Eloqua Test workspace is created, the next thing we're going to do is create uh, some collections or uh, a group of requests underneath this workspace. And to do that, we just simply click on this plus next to the collections. And the default name it gives it is new collection. We'll just change this to Eloqua collection. And now we have that set and saved. Now that we have the collection created, we're going to want to create some requests underneath that collection. So you simply click this little arrow. And then you'll see an option that says add a request. So we're going to click that. And the default name for this is always new request. The first thing we're going to try to get is just determine our Eloqua base URL that we should be using for our particular instance. So for this request, we're just going to name it base URL. Before we put in the actual get address that we're going to use for this API call, we're going to have to authenticate our user for this call. So we're going to click on authorization. And for this example, we're going to use basic auth. And as you can see, it populates for username and password that we have to enter here. For the username, it's just simply your Eloqua company name or the name you log in, what instance you're logging into, with a backslash and then your username. So for example, martech hero backslash mark.meyer. And then the password is the password you use to log in. Once we have that inputted, we're going to next go to this headers tab. And as you can see, it added the authorization key here that we just created. You can keep all the keys and values that are already listed unchanged, but you will need to add one line since in this example, we'll be making requests to the application API. So in an empty key field, like right here, we're going to type in the field type. We're going to type in content type. And for this, since we're doing an application request, we're going to type in application JSON. So it appears like this. This is all the setup that we will need to do in Postman. So we are now ready to send a request. Like I mentioned, the first thing we need to determine is our Eloqua base URL. So to determine this base URL, we're just simply going to perform a GET request on the address HTTPS colon slash slash login at eloqua.com slash ID. Then I'm going to hit the send request. And then as you can see here, it's sending the request. And it returns this information down here in the body. So if we scroll down, you're going to see under something that says REST, two things, standard and bulk. 
For this exercise, we're gonna be using the standard API. So we're gonna to wanna to copy off this base URL. Note that this P04 part of this base URL just signifies which pod you're on in Eloqua. Uh, Eloqua supports multiple data centers and each has their own unique domain name, but Eloqua refers to these as pods. So for example, if your Eloqua instance is on pod one, this base URL would just simply be secure.p01 instead of 04. We now are ready to do our first get request call of some data from our Eloqua instance. First, what we want to do, let's save this base URL request that we created by just simply hitting save up here. Now, if you go over to this section where it says get base URL, you'll see three dots. Just click on those dots and we're gonna duplicate this. So it's gonna copy all the settings from the previous one and just call it base URL copy. For this example, we'll just change the name and we will call it Eloqua Requests. Okay, and it just changed this to Eloqua Requests. Next, we're gonna copy that base URL we got from the prior step. So in my case, it was this. And now we're gonna to wanna to figure out what API endpoint do we wanna call. To determine what endpoint we wanna call, let's go back to our API document on the Eloqua website. And we're gonna click on application. We'll use 1.0. And let's see what endpoints are available for contacts. Okay, we can create a contact, delete a contact, retrieve a certain contact, retrieve a list of contacts. Uh, let's retrieve a list of contacts. So as you can see over here, it says this is to retrieve a list of contacts. It uses the get request, and here is the endpoint. So we're gonna copy this and copy that endpoint into here. So I had that my base URL, the secure.p04.eloqua.com slash API slash rest, and the endpoint I just copied onto it was 1.0 slash data slash contacts. So now we're gonna send this request, and as you can see, it's sending. And then down here, you can see it returned the contacts that are in this database. And also notice there's a status code here that Postman gives us. It's a status 200, which means the request was received okay and it, it was returned without a problem. Now instead of just getting a list of all the contacts in the database, let's try something different. Let's try to create a contact, a new contact using this API. So first, let's go back to the documentation and we wanna create a contact. So we're gonna select the create a contact. So this up here says this is to create a contact. This is a post request, post meaning that we're gonna add something to the database versus the get, which we're just retrieving information. Here's the endpoint. As you can see, it's pretty much the same, except instead of contacts, it's just a contact without the S. Now, since this is a post request, we'll need something called a request body that defines the details of the contact we are going to create. You can see examples of these requests back on this Eloqua API documentation. If we scroll down, you'll see some examples here. So here's an example request body that we could pass. In this particular example, it's gonna add a contact and add all these fields like address one, address two, so on and so forth, first name, last name, et cetera. So now we're back in Postman. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change this URL. And if you recall, the URL just didn't have the contacts, it had contact without the S. So it looks like this. The next thing is we're gonna to wanna to change this from a get request to a post request, since we're gonna be sending data from Postman to Eloqua. Finally, we need to define what data we're sending. So we're gonna click on this body tab and we're gonna send raw data and make sure this says JSON because that's the kind of uh, format that Eloqua accepts. And we're gonna paste in some JSON I created that's simply gonna just define an email address, a first name, and a last name. 
So this is the information we're gonna send over to Eloqua and we're gonna create a contact with these fields. Okay, once we have that inputted, we're gonna just simply hit the send button. And as you can see, it's sending the request. And on the body below, it says that it was created and it shows us the information that it was created. So it sent over all the information that we supplied in the body. And if you go to the Eloqua instance, you'll see whatever you created will now show up on the contact table as a new entry. One thing to note is you'll notice that when we create a new contact, it supplies it with an ID. This is an Eloqua ID. So in this case, it's 35. So let's see how we can use that ID for another API call. Okay, I'm back on the API document of uh, the Eloqua API. And let's see if we can retrieve a contact. So I clicked on this retrieve a contact, and this is a Git request. And as you can see here, it gives us the endpoint, which is data slash contact slash, and then an ID parameter. So let's see what we can do with this. So back on Postman, we're gonna just try to add, add this variable 35 as the ID. And now this is a Git request. We don't need this body anymore, so we can get rid of that. And we're gonna send this request. And it just retrieved what we already saw up there. It retrieved the information for this contact. We could very easily just pick another contact ID. I just randomly pick one here, let's say four. And you can see that it returns that ID. So another thing you could do with this, the same request URL, let's say we wanted to delete this contact. To delete it, one of the options up here is delete. So now we're gonna delete contact four. So let's send that. And you see down here, nothing shows up, but it does say status 200 okay. So that means it was successful. So let's test that. Let's now go back to get, and let's try to retrieve that contact we just deleted. So nothing shows up here. And over here on status, it says 404 object not found. In a future video, I'll show you guys how you could have an Excel file, let's say, or a CSV file of ID numbers, and you could have something in Postman called a collection runner run through all the IDs if you wanted to delete a bunch in batch or add a bunch in batch or what have you. So we can do that in a future video. For now, I just encourage you guys to go out and play around with some APIs. Maybe go back to the API document uh, by Eloqua and just kind of click around and look at the different kind of requests you can make and just play around with it and see what you can do. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks a lot for watching.